Join us Sunday night, May 12th, while we welcome in Mr. Barbecue Bible himself, Stephen Reichland. That is Sunday night, May 12th, from 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And today's show is definitely going to be a good one. We are going to be back on the Masterbuilt Gravity Fed XT. I am going to have it broken down into two segments. The first segment is going to be all about the Wi Fi, all about the app. We will connect it right here on air, and I will let you know of any problems that I may have had. That second segment is going to be all about the biscuit test. It is good to know the hot spots in your pit, and we will cover that today. My name is Tommy, and of course, this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. If this is your first time here, please consider to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. So look, last night I did a live show with Tim and Dallas. They run some of the biggest Facebook groups. I will have information down below, and in that live show, the... Uh, the, the, the control panel came up along with the app and Wi-Fi, so I thought I would give it a shot today. And now look, the reason I don't use these apps or the, the, the Wi-Fi's is because I've got about a 300 foot run into my office from my cook shack and hardly any of them ever work, if any of them ever did work. So we will definitely put that to test. And as mentioned, we will also do that biscuit test today. Look, I've had the 560, the 800, uh, the 1050. I've had the char griller. I've had the Oklahoma Joe. And all of them really have failed the uh, biscuit test for what it is, except that Oklahoma Joe. I have never had a pit like that Oklahoma Joe cook so evenly. All that said, the only thing that biscuit test tells you is your hot spot in the pit. It really doesn't matter how things cooked. You just need to know that hot spot. If your hot spot is on the left and you do a brisket, you want to put the fatty side over towards the hot spot. You don't want to put the uh, uh, the lean side because that is going to overcook because it is the hot spot. So the fatty parts go to the hot spot and you are all set. That is basically what the biscuit test is all about. So look, what I want to do here is let's turn our attention down to that control panel. Let's get that app all ready to go and let's start the show. Alrighty, so look, a little bit of background here. I use the uh, my Samsung S23, and I also use my, I believe it is an iPhone 14 Pro Max, and both of them went off without a hitch here. The only thing is you cannot have two phones uh, t connected to the, t to the unit at the same time, so I did have to uh, power down one of the lines to get the other one going, and basically this is exactly what I did. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is download the app and put in your pertinent information, your name, your your, uh, your email, you're gonna want to uh, open up an account, get your password in there. Once you get all that done, you are gonna look for your pit. You wanna be standing out next to the pit. And obviously I am working with the XT and there she is there. At that point, you are gonna turn your attention to the control panel, hit that Wi-Fi button on the bottom. Once that connects, you are gonna to wanna to start searching. You will uh, allow all the information that you need to allow, just let it search. This could take about a minute or two. Keep an eye on that control panel. Once you see you have successfully found it, you will go back to the app. At that point, you will give your pit a, uh, a name. I am gonna go with Billy Bats. From there, you are gonna to get to your Wi-Fi, and there is my Wi-Fi. You are gonna put the password in. Now, all this is done at the pit, and again, that is about 300 feet or so through a couple walls. And I gotta tell you, I was 100% impressed. I mean, I've tried this with with, uh, well, with all the old master builds, with the char griller, with uh, multiple Z grills. I mean, I've probably tried this with 20, 20 plus grills and have just given up. I do not try it anymore because they don't work. So the fact that this, uh, this connected that easy and works with both the iPhone and also an Android, it's hard to beat, man. It is hard to beat. Look, what I want to do here is let's get on over to segment two and let's talk about that biscuit test. So firing up the XT couldn't be more simple. Number one, shake that grate. Number two, you are gonna grab your favorite fuel and get it in the hopper. At that point, your fire starter of choice is next. Once you get that in there, grab your torch and torch it. 
So at this point, basically what you want to do, you've got your hopper lid open, you've got the ash door open. You want to wait about two to three minutes. You want that smoke to billow up, up through the hopper. After that two, three minutes, when you've got a good amount of smoke, it is time to fire up the unit. We are going to set that dial to 350, which is the recommended temp on the biscuits. You always want to do with the uh, uh, set that temp to what the biscuits tell you to set it at. Once we've got that set temp, we can shut that hopper lid and also the ash draw. We can open up that, uh, open up that hood and, and just uh, for a moment, we can just look at that smoke willow up from the hood. I mean, there is not much of a better sight than that. So I am going to go with the Grand's Biscuit. There are eight per, 24 in total. And a little bit of word on this uh, on this biscuit test is I've watched some videos in the past and to me they've gone a little bit off skew. Number one, you want to make sure you've got all the biscuits out on the board, all ready to go. Make sure they're separating because when you open up that hood to get the biscuits on, you definitely want to get them on as fast as possible. That is number one. Number two is you are looking to burn the biscuits. You are not looking to cook the perfect biscuit here because you are wanting to find the hot spot. The only way to find that hot spot is to burn them. Hence that temperature in the pit of 350. I, I, I've seen some biscuit tests where the uh, the temp was 250. That is just too low, man. Again, you are not looking to cook the perfect biscuits. You need to burn the biscuits to find the hot spot. Now look, that is my opinion on the uh, on the biscuit test. Uh, others may disagree with that and that is fine. So basically we will get the biscuits in the pit. I am gonna load up that bottom shelf and I'm gonna go with three levels on the uh, on the racks. I always cook on the uh, second or third level with a pan underneath. So for me, I need the top racks to be more perfect than the bottom. And I will also set my count up timer 11 to 15 minutes on the package on the biscuits at 350. I will bring you guys back in about seven, eight minutes. All right, guys, so look, a quick peek at that seven minute mark tells me that we've got a little bit of ways to go. I mean, the bottoms are looking good. They are starting to toast up. I am starting to see that that left side is gonna be the hot spot. The uh, middles and, and, and the top racks still have a little bit to go. I will bring you guys back at that 13, 14 minute mark. So I'm gonna call that bottom rack at the 12 minute mark. And as we get them off, we can clearly see that the, uh, the left side is uh, definitely the hot spot. Now look, I only use that bottom rack if I am gonna grill up some steaks or maybe some burgers or some dogs or some chicken, any type of protein that I can control the heat and also where I want a little bit of char, that is gonna go on that bottom rack. More importantly to me is gonna be that middle and top racks because that is where the briskets are gonna go, the, uh, you know, the pork butt is gonna go. Ribs, you're gonna wanna put those ribs up there and anything else that is gonna go low and slow. So that is gonna be the more important test to me as we look at this on the board here again you can see that we are pretty okay towards that middle and ends to the right the left is totally burnt let's give it another minute or two and then i will bring you guys back and we will take a look at the middle and top racks so look, let's call this one at about 12 and a half, 13 minutes, two minutes past the, uh, two minutes past that bottom shelf. We will get those off as carefully as possible and move them onto the board. We already know that bottom rack got that hot spot on the left with the middles and towards the rights are okay. Anything I am grilling is gonna be down there. Now that third and fourth or second, third and fourth level is looking pretty good to me. Again, left side hot spot, there is no doubt about it, but we are pretty even across the board on that, uh, on those upper racks. So I am definitely digging that. So when I do ribs or say a brisket, it is gonna be cooking pretty good up there. As we bring in that side side, again, you could see left side on all levels is pretty, uh, is pretty much the hot spot. But as we go, uh, as we go up two, three, uh, four levels, we can see that we are looking pretty good towards that middle and to the end, it is pretty even right across the board. So that is gonna work out fine. So let me clean up this mess here. I do have some closing thoughts that I'd like to share with you and we will do that next. 
All right, guys, so look, what could I say? The, uh, the, the biscuit test went off without a hitch. Now I know how to work my pit. And I've got to say, again, I've not even cooked on this pit. And I could tell you that Masterbuilt spared no expense with this, uh, with this gravity fed. They didn't seem like they did anything cheap with it. They took that 1050, took their time and ran with it and nailed practically every aspect of the pit. So look, tomorrow is gonna be the big day. I've got some ribs in the house. We are about ready to fire this bad boy up and throw some ribs down. I've also got a, uh, a 20 pound brisket happening this week on the Masterbuilt XT. So you are gonna wanna stay tuned for all that. Again, my name is Tommy. I appreciate you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. So that is gonna wrap up this show here. I appreciate you all for watching. And until next time, we will see you soon.